Roar, it's Cry Dragon. How's everybody doing? Oh man, it seems like. I mean, it's only been a couple days since I said that. And I extremely apologize it's about. Time 15. Computer. Anyway, I apologize for having it a day later than I planned, but. Uh, seems like nothing can ever go right for me. So, anyway. This is my second chance. I'm going to try and get another video uploaded this weekend. So I'm, we're just going to go ahead and finish off Chapter 2. Maybe a little bit of Chapter 3. I don't know. But anyway, um, let's just see how far we can get. So anyway, I'm going to read the last paragraph. I'm going to read the paragraph that we left off at. I'm, I'm going to read a little bit before, before we stopped. The doctor continued. Overtraining or overuse of muscles can lead to them decaying. Vital organs may shut down and the victim might die. The body stops taking in nutrients it needs. In Rain Badash's case, CBS has progressed at incredible speeds. There isn't a lot we can do at this point to help Rain Badash. I'm sorry, but... I don't think she'll make it. Rudy flopped down to the floor and helplessly sobbed. <laughs> Why couldn't it be me? She deserves life more than any pony. She... She trained so hard. Rudy mumbled. Alright, that's starting to make me cry now. Alright, sorry. Applejack put a hoof on her shoulder. There's a chance she can make it, Sugar Cube. The orange... Earth Pony reassured with a glance at the sleeping Pegasus. Pinkie Pie remained eerily silent, hair straightened, leaning over Rainbow Dash. What can y'all do to help her? There must be something, Applejack said. The doctor looked around anxiously. We'd have to put her on a certain type of medicine. Medicine believed to be highly dangerous and ineffective. It's the only, it's the only known cure at this point, he replied quietly. And just do it! Applejack shouted, her bright green eyes streaming angry tears. The doctor stood stunned and wordless, clearly startled by the emotion in Applejack's voice. Twilight put a hoof on her friend's shoulder, a calming gesture that brought Applejack to her senses. Applejack, I don't think we should do it. These are untested drugs, and it's still a possibility that she could recover without them. The purple unicorn carefully replied, selecting words that hopefully wouldn't set her friend off. This time, AJ exploded. I don't care if they've been tested or not. It's her only chance of making it out alive, the apple-bucking pony yelled, making every pony wince. With a malicious look that was peculiar for Applejack, she charged out of the room. Pinkish red eyes fluttered open, awoken by the loud noise of the door slamming. Pinkie, tr Pinkie Pie tried her best to smile. You're awake, sleepyhead! Excuse, <laughs> Excuse me. You're awake, sleepyhead! How do you feel? The normally cheerful pony asked, affectionately putting a multicolored, petting a multicolored mane. Rainbow Dash blinked up at Pinkie Pie, accidentally sputtering up blood. <coughs> Everything hurts, she complained, her voice trying to sound strong but failing. Pinkie wrapped her arms around Rainbow. Please get better, she begged. Rainbow Dash awkwardly returned the hug, looking at Twilight Sparkle. What happened? The Cyan Pegasus asked shakily. You've got a disease called CBS as a result of overtraining. You might die, Rainbow, she responded grimly. Rainbow Dash felt a transparent tear slip down her face as the doctor explained further. Okay, I'm not about to cry. This is just so sad. It's funny. Ah. Uh, anyway, let's keep going. So, I might never get to train again? She began to sob. Pinkie Pie tried to wipe the tears away. Oh, please don't cry, Dashy. Please, she murmured. Twilight looked at the doctor with apology in her eyes. We should probably go. I think they need some time alone, the purple unicorn suggested. Are they? He started, and Twilight answered with a nod. Careful to be quiet, they left the hospital room. 
<clears throat> it's kind of awkward. Okay, anyway. Rainbow Dash looked up at Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie, I'm not, I might not live. Before I die, I just want to see... She hesitated. I, I love you. Before the Pegasus could complete her sentence, she was interrupted with a kiss. <laughs> I'm so... Uh, that's just... <laughs> that's just hilarious. It's hilarious and sad at the same time. Uh, anyway, Rainbow's pink eyes widened in surprise. Then they fluttered shut as she put a hoof around Pinkie Pie's poofy mane, pulling her down to the bed. Okay. Get a room. Anyway. After forever, which was actually three seconds, they pulled away. I love you too, Dashie. Please don't leave me here alone. Rainbow Dash smiled weakly up at her. I have to live. I can't leave my girl alone, can I? Pinkie Pie squealed loudly, making Rainbow Dash wince wince slightly. <coughs> now I'm your girl? Yes! This is awkward because I'm reading this and I'm a guy. I'm just I'm just gonna keep reading like nothing happened. Anyway. The Pink Earth Pony shouted triumphantly. She's so cute. I can't die and leave her alone. Pinkie Pie pulled a decorated cupcake out of nowhere. Typical Pinkie Pie. I bet you're hungry, huh? Eat this! I mean myself! Rainbow Dash inspected it, mouth-watering. It was pink and blue with cr clear crystal sprinkles on top. Blah, can't talk today. <laughs> sure, it looks good, she said coolly, accepting the cupcake. The Pegasus took a bite. Mm, this is pretty tasty. Pinkie Pie observed Rainbow Dash with watchful blue orbs waiting for her opinion. This is awesome, Pinkie Pie. You know, I'd like to bake someday. I'd like to learn to bake someday. At least someday when I'm not busy being a Wonderbolt, she bragged enthusiastically. Pinkie Pie giggled as the air in the room lightened. <laughs> when you get out of the hospital, I'll teach you. I, I might get distracted if I try to learn from you, R.D. joked with a wink making color spread on Pinkie Pie's cheeks. <clears throat> I... <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Okay, I'm just gonna keep reading now. Hey, Rainbow Dash! Pinkie paused. What's it like to fly? Rainbow laughed. <laughs> That's a silly question, but I'll tell you. Flying, especially at high speeds, is awesome! Everything is below you. The sound of the wind in your mane blocks out any noise. You feel alive, like there's nothing in the world that can stop you. The Pegasus, the Pegasus explained, making little swooshing motions with her hooves. Pinkie Pie looked out the hospital window. That sounds amazing. I wish I could fly, she replied with a hint of sadness. Okay, now I'm starting to get better at Pinkie Pie's voice. Thank you, Celestia. Rainbow Dash had an idea. Just close your eyes. Imagine cool wind pushing your mane back. You feel relaxed and high in the sky. Just pretend. It might help, she suggested. Pinkie Pie closed her eyes and relaxed her body. In her mind, she pictured herself flying. All she could feel was thrill. So this is how Dashy feels when she flies. If I had wings, I'd never stop. After a while, she reopened her eyes. Pinky, how does it feel? Pretty awesome, right? Pink R.D. questioned. The pink earth pony nodded and yawned. Uh, it's great, Dashie. I wish I had wings like yours. R.D. shot her a concerned look. You tired? Yeah, I'm exhausted. Rainbow Dash realized Pinkie Pie probably hasn't slept since the party. She opened her arms. There's enough room. Curl up next to me. Dashie awesomely said, which awesomely doesn't really go there. That's fine. Pinkie Pie carefully got into the sign Pegasus hospital bed. She snuggled up against Rainbow Dash. The warmth in Rainbow Dash's heartbeat only made her sleepier. I love you.
you, Dashie? The pink earth pony whispered, a true happiness in her voice. Rainbow Dash pulled her closer, holding her protectively, even though it hurt so much. I love you too, she murmured in Pinky's ear. Now, little little disclaimer, I do not, I don't support it, but I make fun of it, you know? So if you, if you decide that this is your orientation, I'm sorry. Um, like that's, that's fine, I'm not going to judge you. It's just some of the things that I say in here aren't towards people with that orientation, but are, but it's towards the story itself and the current situation in the story. So I just want to say that before anybody got offended. And I'm going to have to, like, eventually make a video so I don't have to keep repeating it and just include the video in there in the mix. But anyway, that was the rest of Chapter 2. I'm afraid I don't have any more time. So, yeah, I guess I'll see you later, and thank you for watching. Now, uh, thank you, Heart of Gold 15, for writing this, and I will, I will see if I can, um, I'm sorry about not posting the link in, uh, in your review, but I will see if I can post this link in the review, um, when I upload the video. So, without further ado, this is Kai Dragon, and I guess I'll see you later. And, wait. Wait, before you even, before you even decide to click out, one little thing I forgot about. Now, I will read upcoming fanfictions, like, I've read about 20 fanfictions, My Little Pony fanfictions total. And I have them all bookmarked, and then I'm just gonna sift through and see which ones I want to read and which ones I don't, and which ones I still want to keep reading, but not read to YouTube. And, um... So, there will be um, a few curse words, but I will not say them. Instead, I will just include um, a random sound like this. You know, I won't, I, won't, um, I won't say the words. I'll just pause and insert a sound there. So, um, so you can know where that's at. And, um... And there, there also may be some, um, some parts that are just a little off kilter. So that's that's where I'll just completely skip that phrase and add a sound there to let you know that there's something there, in case you ever decide to read these. But oh wow, thirteen minutes. Okay. Now I've I yeah I, I I'd probably best be getting off of here now. So is Kai Dragon. Now I'll see you later for realsies this time. And um, look forward. Be looking forward to chapter three.